do this right now. I'm in the living room. Let me start you off at the front door, of course. Spin this around. You know, it's a door. Sick. Right here, I have my shoes. In Japan, you have to pull your shoes off immediately. And uh, you don't want to be walking around on the floor and disrupting neighbors, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to stay kind of quiet as we do this. First up is my amp box. Let me see if I can get it in focus. Um, yeah, so that puppy's here. Um, it's pretty big. It's like half my body. Uh, I just need to tear it down. Some trash stuff in Japan's a little tricky to do. Um, I got to tie it up with string, find the right day to put it out, all that kind of stuff. So right here, the magical kitchen. Wow. Um, almost nothing to it. Just a small little burner right here uh, that I really haven't used yet. I have a cat sponge over here. This is pretty narrow space, you know, just kind of cruising in. Got a few shelves right here and just a cabinet with which I have just a bunch of random stuff in. I don't have too much, so it makes it a little easy. Got some junk up here. My apartment came semi-furnished with a little washer. Uh, it was fun trying to figure out what all these words meant. Uh, yeah, still don't know. So I just push some buttons and then eventually it starts. So right here to the right, we have the bathroom. Super small, but how it works is this space is the shower space right here. Then you have the tub over there, shower head up yonder. I have all my socks hanging to dry here because in Japan you don't really have a dryer and then you know you get clean you do the thing all right next up let's take a look at the bathroom let's go got it right here by the front door it's a bathroom I have a cat trash can over there cat floor mat easy peasy nothing to it super simple um I didn't know what apartment I was originally getting so I was a little nervous about like, what is it gonna be? Do all that kind of stuff. Right here, got my amp, got my pedal board, guitar, acoustic over in the corner. Wood floors, got a ladder going up to my loft thing with my bed. So I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, favorite part though is definitely the windows in here. Floor to ceiling, um, I would guess it's probably like 15 feet or so. Um, just super high, just chill. It's just a great little space for me personally. Bought this super cheap chair for like ten dollars. It reclines, leans back, does all that kind of stuff. Um, over here, just a bunch of junk. Power transformer for the amp because I needed to change it from 100 in, 100 volts in Japan to 120, just so I wouldn't have to do anything in the amp or make any adjustments. Um, some cables just in case some stuff goes bad. A little extra light. TV that came with the apartment, and then my handy dandy PlayStation One. You know. That's it, doing all right. Closet over here, toss suitcase, amp cover, gig bag up there. Um, yeah, so let's check out the small little lock. Gotta make this climb every day, every night. Could be worse. And you know, I think this space maybe looks a little small on camera. A little nook and cranny in here. Um, it's actually a really big space. So let me show you. So you kind of just kind of crawl over you. Um, the mat is actually pretty uh, comfortable and uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, if I sit straight up, then I could hit my head a bit. I bought an extra little padding for my futon because at the beginning it was so bad. Just with this, this is probably only about maybe two inches thick. But once you're laying on it, it just, just like a pancake. So I've got a little extra padding. Definitely makes it a little better. One blanket, I'm making it. Not too bad. It's always super bright in the morning. Sun rises so fast in Japan. And you just get a look at this and it's nice. And uh, I haven't fallen off these stairs yet, which I'm extremely surprised yet. So let's see, just going, just cruising. Just gotta go down it sideways. And that's it. So, I mean, this was just a super quick uh, little apartment tour. It's a cool little space. I'm digging it. Um, I got to stay really quiet, which makes it, of course, a little tricky with an amp, but I just want to be be good to the neighbors. I'm lucky because there's nobody on this side. Um, there are There is somebody over here, but they're, they're pretty chill, at least 
so far. So we'll see. And uh, one person up above, but they're pretty noisy too. So it works out. So let's see where to start. So I think <laughs> filming this right now, it's probably been 78 ish, 80 days since I uploaded, which is, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty sad to me. You know, I, I really just wanted to keep kind of keep this nice little smooth rhythm of making videos and just the excitement of moving, all that kind of stuff. Just the thought of, I'm gonna have so many things to do and just record all that kind of stuff. And uh, I kind of lost that just because I think it's the classic excuse, but I was just, there's so much going on, but I was also just trying to experience it without worrying about recording it and capturing it perfectly. Cause, because for me, when I want to do something like this, whether it be for music or for like this camera stuff, uh, YouTube, I want to try to get it as good as I possibly can. And that would totally take me out of the moment sometimes when I started trying to do it right after that, uh, right after that most recent video. So because of that, I just kind of took a sec and things were just moving so fast, of course, right? Just adjusting to a new job, something that I've never really done before, other than teaching music, of course. Um, but teaching English is a completely different animal. And since I've been here for a sec, I've been talking to people, I've been hanging out, I've been exploring, I've been doing all the stuff. So finally found a music spot in a town about 10 minutes over. Um, it's a t city called Kisarazu. It's still small, but it has a few things. So I'm really excited about that. It's just gonna be a fun little season and just thanks for being here with me. And uh, yeah, let me talk to you about some more Japan stuff and just all the adjustments I've had. So the biggest update from the last video that I had, which was almost two and a half months ago or so, as my training uh, is approaching, like the date that they gave me, I started getting uh, emails just about like, hey, we don't really have a spot for you. Uh, you're still employed, but what that looks like is now that you're an alternate. And I was like, okay, so what, is, what does that mean? And they're like, well, we don't know where you'll be and you may not be in one location for a long time and you may be moving around a bunch. We like multiple different cities um, every week. And I was like, uh, okay, like, <laughs> What what does that mean? So as we were talking more and more, they said that, oh, well, we have this different branch um, near Tokyo that has a, has a spot that needs to be filled and would love for you to go there if you're interested in that. So of course I was like, is this an actual choice or is it just like <laughs> telling me you go and do it? And so it ended up being a choice, which was cool. Um, I had a bunch of phone calls and whatnot with the people up at the branch and just got some really cool vibes and they were just really nice, caring people, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I decided to take that because I'd rather be in one spot for four months, four or five months, you know, and get to know people and actually make some connections if I can, rather than being moved around a bunch of different cities and different schools. Um, and not really being able to make connections. The people over here call it Chibakun. It kind of looks like a little dog, which is fun. Uh, and so I live in a city called Kimitsu. And is it a big city? Absolutely not. But um, at the beginning, I was excited. I'm like, oh, cool, brand fresh. It's, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be great. You know, it's just a new experience. And then a week later, a week or two, I'm like, there's nothing to do here, like at all, you know? So all my expectations, all all the ideas of doing video stuff and just being so close and just um, to a bigger city or a music scene, all that kind of stuff. I was like, oh, we're kind of crushed. Like, you know, um, that being said, Tokyo is only about an hour, 15 hour, 30 minute bus ride away, which isn't bad, but uh, the salary for this job that I have right now is not much at all. So I still haven't even gotten my first full paycheck and I don't know what that looks like. So I've kind of been trying to spend as little money as possible and uh, just trying to prepare for what is coming next. Not going to Tokyo or to Osaka, any of the big cities where I thought that I could go easily and just go see these things um, just wasn't really happening. So the inspiration for a lot of these videos and just wanting to do stuff like put out content was really hard. The worst part, of course, was that I 
haven't had my guitar amp for the past two months. It finally came in about a week ago and um, man, that was, that was something else. Just going through customs, all that kind of stuff. That was pretty wild. Um, I definitely don't want to ship something internationally again that's a little more on the expensive side. That was a pain. I had to provide so much documentation constantly and just over and over again just to just to get my thing. And uh, man, I'm glad it's here. It's been fun. I've been playing finally. Um, I brought my acoustic back with me because I visited the U.S. just for my sister's wedding for one day. <sighs> one day. But it was good. I'm glad I did it. Glad I made it, but man, I was so tired. But I brought my acoustic back, so I have my acoustic, I got my electric, I got my pedal board, I got my PlayStation. Uh, it's all good. We're cruising and we're just having fun and I'm making some friends and uh, life in Japan's pretty sweet. It's pretty quiet, it's pretty chill. Um, big adjustments though, but it's been good. So if any of this Japan talk is interesting you, uh, just leave a subscribe, uh, like the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you wanna know about Japan. So what I've mainly been up to, just to keep myself sane, especially when I didn't have my guitar amp, all I had was my electric guitar for a month and a half or two months. Uh, that was really hard to stay inspired to play, right? I mean, an electric guitar without an amp is, uh, it's like driving a car without wheels, right? It's it's cool, it sits there, you, could, you can kind of get in there and kind of move the wheel a little and, you know, push the gas pedals, but that's about it. You know, you can't really go anywhere. I'm just stoked now to have everything. Just been playing a lot. It's been good. Um, but other than that, I've finally been getting into soccer, uh, playing futsal. I've been going there uh, two times a week, hanging out, um, meeting locals, attempting to speak Japanese, which is so difficult. It's so hard. A few guys over there know English though, so it's been cool. And they talk to me and kind of connect me with people. And uh, yeah, just hoping to make relationships in that way, you know, and the culture thing that's different, right? You know, all my teachers, I'm the only English speaker, of course, in my school, other than maybe, you know, some broken English from the teachers. I do have one teacher who's like extremely fluent and it's super fun. That's my favorite days to go to school and chat and hang out. But man, it's tough. You just go to work at 430, you just go home and that's it. Nobody really hangs out and uh, it used to be that way, just talking more with the teachers. It used to be that way before COVID, but since COVID, of course, it uh, just changed everything. Now everybody kind of just does their work, goes home, and that's it. So it's been a struggle as far as like, you know, getting community, all that kind of stuff. But so far, you know, two months in, I'm still enjoying it. Uh, a little nervous about the paycheck thing, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but um, Japan's cool. And if you're thinking about doing it, doing any of this kind of stuff, um, I would definitely do it. Um, make the move, follow the dream, do the thing. Um, at the very least, even if I leave in 10 months when my visa's up, all that kind of stuff, it, I know it'll still have been like an awesome experience. So just do that thing, whatever you're doing. I'm gonna step off the soap, so step, step off the soapbox now and uh, yeah. Just follow the thing that you want to do and uh, just go for it. And I'm sure it'll work out. Everything will be fine. So other than that, there's nothing new. Just going to try to make videos more consistently, put them out every week like I was, and just enjoy doing this YouTube thing. Please let me know what you want to see, if anything interests you. Still going to be more music-based and vlog-based, all that kind of stuff. So uh, just bear with me as I still adjust back into it. And uh, just thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Thank you.